Okay, the question of the day. Are you team Peter Kavinsky or team John Ambrose McLaren? Hey there, I'm Monica from Popcorner Reviews and today I'm sharing a copycat recipe from Laura Jean into all the boys I've loved before. If you've watched the movies on Netflix or you've read the books, you know Laura Jean loves to bake, as do I, so when the second movie came out a couple months ago on Netflix, to all the boys, P.S. I still love you, I wanted to recreate one of her recipes and I decided to go with the cherry turnovers that she makes Peter Kavinsky for Valentine's Day. It's probably the sweetest thing that she bakes for him as his gift and you know I just wanted to get my pensive bake on and I recreate this recipe. So I actually posted this a couple months ago on my blog when the movie first came out, but it's one of my most popular posts and I thought I would add a video to this to show you guys exactly step by step how I did it. Now I've also had some questions come up of can you do strawberry turnovers, could you do cherry turnovers, you could do blueberry turnovers, you can do whatever flavor you want. Some people don't like cherry, that's what Laura Jean did, but today I decided to do half cherry and half strawberry. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to make these as well as a couple substitutions you could make if you don't have all the ingredients. So the ingredients we're going to be using today to make Laura Jean's cherry turnovers as well as strawberry turnovers are two rolls of pre-made pie crust, cherry and strawberry pie filling, about three tablespoons of melted butter, as well as a pinch of sugar just for dusting, and a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Now I am using store-bought pie crust as well as pie filling just to make it a little easier and quicker for myself. However, I have heard from some of you that you don't have those available in your stores. So if you don't have that, you could either go the route of making your own homemade pie crust as well as pie filling, which totally aren't that difficult. I'll drop a couple links below of easy recipes that you could use. You could also substitute that though, instead use a more of a puff pastry as the shell and even use jam or fruit preserves for the filling. So whatever route you'd like to go, I know they will be delicious. Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And while we are waiting for our oven to warm up, I am going to prep our little pie crust or pastry shells. Now I have rolled out one of my pie crusts here and I placed it on a baking mat that I have, just so I'm not putting it down on my countertop. And I am actually gonna be using a pizza cutter to cut mine out just because I found that it's easier just to make straight lines like that. So I'm going to trim up this circular pie crust into a square just to make it a little easier. So I'm just gonna trim off the sides here. Basically just make it a square. It doesn't have to be quite perfect. Go ahead and remove the scraps going to fix this part a little bit. There we go. So now you can see I have a square left and I am going to make six rectangles out of this. So cut it once down the middle and then cut two times in rows. And there we've got six pieces here. I'm going to do the exact same thing with my second pie crust shell. So all in all, we're gonna be able to make six turnovers with this box. Okay guys, now that the pie crust is cut out, I went ahead and put six of the rectangles on my baking sheet lined with parchment paper. And now we are going to fill them with our fruit filling, whether you're using jam or pie filling. I went ahead and already did three cherry ones. So I'm gonna do half cherry and half strawberry. I just put some pie filling right in the middle of my rectangle, being careful not to get too close to the edge so it doesn't spill out while baking. So now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up with the strawberry. Okay, we've got all of our rectangles topped with fruit. I'm just gonna set this aside for a minute while we prep the top piece that's gonna go right on top of our fruit-filled pastry. Okay, so for the remaining six uh, pastry pieces that are going to go on top, I'm just going to use a knife to make a couple small slits across it, just so that while it's baking, it can release some of the steam. 
and just a couple lines on each. They don't have to be perfect. Just a way for that steam to escape. Okay, it's time to top these off with our top pastry pieces. We're gonna use a fork then to push both of the pastry pieces together and I will show you how to do that now. Okay, now that our turnovers are assembled, I am just gonna brush them each with melted butter and sprinkle a little sugar on top. Okay guys, I'm gonna pop these in the oven. Again, it's 375 degrees Fahrenheit, preheated oven. I'm gonna bake these for about 20 to 25 minutes or until they are golden brown. So keep a close eye on them just in case they start to burn. Okay, my turnovers are out of the oven. Obviously, I had a little fruit spillage. I might have went a little overboard on the filling, but they will taste just as good. So, without further ado, we have Laura Jean's cherry and strawberry turnovers. Thanks so much for watching my video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. You'll be able to find the link below in the description for this recipe, including ingredients in a step-by-step -step tutorial. I'm also gonna drop a link to my LJ inspired cupcakes, which I made when the first movie came out, as well as a spoiler-free review for PS, I Still Love You. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more recipes, DIYs, style ideas, all inspired by my favorite fandoms.